Hey there, this is Steven Foss at Ichi.net with your IPv6 update number 45. As we get closer and closer to the date when the global IANA IPv4 pool will run out, there are bound to be more and more articles written, more interviews taken, and more press in general about IPv6. Of course, not all of the press is going to be good. A recent article by NetworkWorld.com caused a bit of a stir with its headline, Yahoo! IPv6 Upgrade Could Shut Out 1 Million Internet Users. The point is that misconfigurations on systems and network devices can cause timeouts lasting from a few seconds to a couple of minutes, causing the user to think that the site is broken. This headline, besides being designed to draw on readers with its gloom and doom nature, is probably true, but it shouldn't surprise you, nor should it scare you. The number comes from estimates that 2 billion people access the internet, and expert network administrators best guess scenarios which estimate that 5 hundredths of a percent of users will experience connectivity issues when a site goes dual stack using both IPv4 and IPv6. Why shouldn't the figure surprise you? Because you understand that IPv6 is a change to the principal communications protocol for packet relay on the internet. It's not backwards compatible with IPv4. For many people, it's an entirely new concept, and there will be difficulties mostly coming from the user's side. And why shouldn't it scare you? Because the transition to IPv6 must occur at some time or another, and trouble spots need to be identified and corrected. I work at a company that operates the largest IPv6 network in the world and has had its main content dual stacked for years. A few months ago though, I had trouble accessing one of our websites. While my initial thought was that the site was down due to denial of service attacks by networks envious of our IPv6 sexiness, I eventually figured out that I had messed up my v6 tunnel configuration. These things happen. Try to picture that the internet is getting married and that 2 billion people are invited to the ceremony. A tiny fraction of those people have incorrect maps to the wedding, but we don't know who they are. One of the best solutions is to invite them all over for a rehearsal dinner and figure out who gets lost along the way and identify issues that could interrupt the real party later on. World IPv6 Day is that rehearsal dinner and a very important test.